So you have realized that high touch opportunities are now limited, but high, high tech uh, is possible and it's the way of the future. So if that's what you're saying, you're saying, look, uh, this high touch thing, it's just getting in front of people. Like I love doing it. I'm a belly to belly person myself. I'm a visual person. I'm a belly to belly person. I love meetings. I love meeting people at coffee houses and like I can close better in person, but guess what? We're living in a day and time where that's not as possible anymore, right? It's, there's not. So I saw a question pop up, Barbara, and, I, and I'll, I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to answer it in a second. You would like your leads conversion rate to increase to over 15%, right? I touched on that already. You are tired of spending hundreds of dollars on unqualified leads and then doing what? Praying, right? For those that pray. If you don't pray, you're probably doing something else. You're meditating. You're doing something. You're talking to somebody in some language because the leads you're buying aren't working, right? So you're praying for a close. I, I remember buying a batch of leads, and it's like rolling dice, man. It's like sometimes I'll close three or four in the batch, and sometimes I can buy two or three batches to get like complete duds, wrong numbers, and all kinds of crap, right? So you just don't know what you're getting, and you don't have control of your business when you do not know what you are getting, right? It's like the drop ship era when you used to be able to buy the containers and not know what they were. You get it for like pennies on a dollar, right? And then they ship the stuff to you and then you sell it online, right? For those that remember those days, right? The drop ship stuff, right? I, I, I used to do that, right? I, I would spend money on a big, on a tanker full of stuff. They would ship the stuff, I would put it in storage and then I would sell the stuff online, right? In another life I did that, right? <laughs> so when I would do that, we didn't, I didn't know what I was getting. Right? Sometimes I'll get to be baby shoes, right? You, you just you don't know what you're So you got to learn how to do anything. So the bad thing was, I didn't know what I was getting. The good thing is, I learned how to sell anything because I didn't know what was going to be in that tank, right? <laughs> so I had to learn how to sell whatever showed up. So it's better when you can niche things out, right? So you would like a you would like the prospect fish uh, on social media uh, and, so, and, and in social media groups without uh, fall into the social media black hole or having that social media anxiety, guys. So like, and I know how it is. It's like, I know it's like you go to social media to do something and right, just put it, put a six in the chat. If it's you, you go to social media to go do something, to go post something, to go, right? You got a mission you're going on and then you get there and like five minutes later, you like, why did I come to social media? Why did I go to Facebook? You said happy anniversary to people that you really don't even know. You said happy birthday to people that you wouldn't even say happy birthday to if you saw them in person, right? It's, it's crazy. Like you liking, you looking, you, you liking cats and dogs and all kinds of stuff. And you literally saying to yourself, what, what did I even come here for? Like you, you, forget, you forget what you came for. So it's like, for me, I have, to, I have a timer. Like I've got like a little timer on my desk and then I use my timer on my phone, guys. It's like, I go to social media, I got to put a timer on the alarm because I'm like shiny squirrel. I get on social media and it's like, I see stuff and I'm like, click, 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 click. I'm all over the place. So it's like, you, you don't want to fall into that social media black hole and you don't want that social media anxiety because some of you guys, it's like PTSD guys. It's like, oh my God, I don't even want to go there because it's so overwhelming. So you don't go there and do anything because you're so concerned about, I'm gonna go there and it's just too much going on. I don't want people to see me, I don't want that. So that's what social media managers are for, right? So that you can have, and then there's a lot of software that will post for you, right? Very inexpensive, but some will do it for free, but some very inexpensive software that, that, that'll post for you. So let me, let me go here real quick and hit, um, hit Barbara's question here. I want to make sure you guys are getting something out of it. Is there a way to organize your leads uh, for different services that you offer? Absolutely. Absolutely, Barbara. Like, and that's the whole thing. That's, that's what I love about it. it. It organizes everything. So when we, when we go over, when we do the tutorial on PayHip, like if you have an a email service, so uh, I'm going to talk about MailChimp. I, I had MailChimp for years. I stopped using it because I now have a, a bigger platform. I use Kajabi because I do a lot of other things. So I have something that's more than just an email system. So, so what y'all did to get into this, right? Clicking on stuff and buying and whatever y'all did to get here, land here, was all my Kajabi system. Well, I used to use MailChimp. And then I stopped using MailChimp because my, my, my open rate wasn't as high. But 
I'm now promoting MailChimp again, and you'll see why during this boot camp. Um, and I'll let a, a little cat out of the bag on this and why I'm doing it, but I'm, I got a whole section where I'm going to talk about this uh, because I have moved away from it. But for those that know Intuit, Intuit is the company that owns QuickBooks. They also own TurboTax. They also own, own Credit Karma. They also own Mint Financial. Well, that company just bought MailChimp for $12 billion with a B, guys, $12 billion. And I'm going to explain. I got a whole segment here. I got a nine-minute video and a segment where I'm going to talk about how you can benefit from that buy and why, why, why that psychological buy tells you the way with the future of online marketing and having a big email list. So you just put that in your mind. Why would a financial company that owns big brands go and buy an email service company for $12 billion would it be? They only paid three or four billion for credit count, but they turned around and they paid 12 billion, three times more for a company that sends emails. So when somebody tells you that email marketing is dead, you tell that to a company that did, a financial company that just spent $12 billion on an email service company, right? So it's gonna be some major change, change happening with MailChimp and I will tell you, Right, you might want to look at getting into Mailchimp, you know, for your email service if you don't already have one. So, what's going to happen with your email service, right? To your question, Barbara, is you can segment and tag your content, your 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 um your 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 your, your content. So, what does that mean? That means that if I'm promoting, right? Because I know Barbara, I know you're a realtor. So, if you're saying, hey. I'm a realtor and I'm putting my realtor hat on, which is that's cute for you because you're the hat lady, right? So, so you got your real estate hat on right now. And with your real estate, with your real estate hat that you have on, you're going to do leads for that. So because you're doing leads with your real estate, with your real estate business, you're now saying, hey, there you go, broker, right? Uh, CEO broker. So um, as a CEO broker, you're putting content out there. So you're gonna put content that has to do with that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your email system and you're going to say, hey, I want to create a tag that says real estate clientele, real estate leads or realtors, right? Because you may want to, you may do something that attract realtors to your brokerage. That might be what you're doing. So if that's the case, you can label it however you want to, however you want to label it. Uh, there we go. All right, so you can label that however you want. So if you want to market to realtors or people who are looking to buy and sell real estate because you're doing that as well as a broker, you can put that in your email system and create a tag for it. Now, when you go to pay him and upload your lead magnet there, you already have connected your email service to pay him, which delivers the information to your email service. That's how you're building your email list. So when you hook in that email service, it's going to say, where do you want these people to be tagged? And you can choose your tags right there. So what happens is when a person clicks on something, they go into your system, it tags them, and it sends them right on to your email service, whether it's MailerLite or ConvertKit or MailChimp. And now they're labeled in there as a specific kind of person. So now when you go to your email service, you say, okay, I want to send out an email to, to my leads that that are, that are looking to buy or sell a house. And you can even niche it down and say, look, I'm, I'm looking for a person who is just buying, right? I'm sending an email out for people who are just looking to buy a house. You can literally go to create your email, your email service. And then when it says, who are you sending this to? You can click tags and then you can tag those people. So if it's 32 people who clicked on something somewhere in the atmosphere that landed them in your email service, it's gonna let, them know it's going to let you know that those people clicked on that document and it's going to pull them into that email. So those 32 people will get that specific email and you can even personalize the email in different areas. So it's going to be a button that you can click and personalize it with their email address, their physical address, their phone number, or their first or last name. So for those that got an email from me today that said Barbara, or it said Kyle, or it said Alicia, or it said a uh, Willie, right? Guess what? 
that email that you got that said your name for me, I sent that email to 1,100 people. But it looks like it came just to you. So the email service will let you send that email out to all of those people, but personalize whatever areas of that email you want to. So if it's about a specific address, you can click personalize and it's gonna say, what are you personalizing? Oh, an address. Well, this address goes along with it. Boom, and when it goes out, it's gonna say that. So you can do all of that. And now your leads are getting the proper information. So for me, right? So for those that happen to be on here that are in Legal Shield, so if you're not in Legal Shield, it's not gonna apply to you, right? We have something called Prospect by Legal Shield. I use Prospect by Legal Shield on, on certain things that I'm doing with Legal Shield, but I use my email system for everything else because I can't do all that personalization. I can't upload my own things in there. I can only send what they have and I can only, the emails are going to, are, are going to be set up the way that they set them up and I can't personalize the stuff where I want to. It's going to say their name, but that's it. But I can personalize throughout the email. And I can add my own things in there on that on my system. So that's why I invested into a system. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the same money that you would be spending on an actual, on, on, on buying leads anyway. So I'm not telling you to spend any more money. And again, you're not giving the money to me. It's not, you're not paying me for anything. You're, you're paying into a system that you're going to be paying into and you're going to be getting the benefit out of yourself, right? So um, if you are ready to prospect, uh, email, communicate with people, you know are interested in what you offer. That this is this is for you, right? You would rather hear responses like, "Aren't you the man or woman who sent me the checklist to prepare my business taxes for the season?" Right, right. Didn't you create that ebook on how my home a business gave me my my my, my family back? Aren't you uh, the one that sends the newsletters on 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 uh, on uh, explaining how families uh, um or with life and life insurance leads a bigger financial legacy? Right. This is a response you're going to get when you're using the lead system, because now you're giving 80 percent of the time and you're selling 20. Right. I use the 80 20 rule with my leads. Right. So now when you go to sale, guess what's going to happen when you go to sale, guys? They're going to know that you've given them all that free information, all that free information. And because they know that you've given them all that free information, guess what? They're going to buy from you if they want what you're selling. But you won't get them to say, where you get my information from? Because they're opening newsletters that you're sending to them. They're opening documents on checklists to help them on certain things. You're giving them information on how to run their business correctly. All of those things that they're getting, that they're opening up, and you know they're opening them up because you can look in your email system and see, right, this many people clicked on it and who they were. So you know that your leads are, are, are looking at the information that you're sharing. Yes or yes? So I hope that makes sense. And lastly, right, lastly, you would like to increase your prospect email list income producing activity and your conversion rate. You want to increase those things, right? So you want to be on here and you would like to never run out of fresh, qualified niche leads again. You don't ever want to be in a situation where you don't know where you're going to get your leads from. So, so am I qualified to help you gain success? So I've got 25 years of sales. Um, I've got 15 years in business ownership. Uh, I currently own two businesses, um, and I've also invested in, um, in in seven different industries. Right, so I've I've literally um, done everything from a janitorial uh, a, a franchise. Uh, for those that know what Janet King is, I had a Janet King before. Uh, a complete loss of money for me. Um, I spent fifty thousand dollars on it and didn't and didn't make any money. Right, because I didn't know what I was doing. Not because the franchise didn't work, but because I just didn't know what I was doing. Right, so I lost the money. So uh, real estate, right? I, I I did I did real estate. I was a real estate investor when I first moved to Florida. That's why I came from New York to Florida. That's part of my story. I came down here doing real estate. Um, I used to own a tax office, right? I used to own a networking company uh, called BYN Networking. Me and a partner. I used to own a nightclub in Florida. Me and a partner. It was a partnership. I owned um, five assisted living. Well, I owned two assisted living facilities and three independent uh, facilities years ago. Um, that's what I was doing before I got into Legal Shield uh, 11 to 13 years ago, right? I was doing assisted living um, and I just got burnt out on it. Um, network marketing and then a coaching and training company. So I've had those different experiences. And I'm telling you, when I tell you I've done sales guys, right? Low ticket sales, everything from me having a group set up with a 1595 membership from knocking on doors, selling cutlery, right? 
all the way to high ticket sales. I've sold products as high as $9,000 an item, right? So I've done low ticket sales and I've done high ticket sales. I've been in sales for years, right? I do B2B and B2C. I've knocked on doors for people. I've knocked on doors of businesses, guys, right? So it's like I've, I've done all of those different things. All those different things, right? Over the last 11 years, I, I've, I've been a recipient of 13 sales and leadership awards. Um, we've done sales trainings for audience of, of at least 3,000. Uh, and, and we have been, uh, oh, hold on, I can't. Let me move this real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. So we have been uh, leadership trainers for, for uh, five years. And just a couple of other things. Um, general business and training experience. We've worked with unqualified leads um, in, a, in the unqualified leads industry for over a decade. Uh, we've conducted over 200 live training events. Um, I just reached 500 online training events uh, with my training company. Um, and of course, I've written five eBooks. Uh, I've got a book that's gonna be released on October 1st called Leadership Matters in Life and Business. So some of you guys have gotten emails for that book. Uh, you can pre-order it for $4.99, but that book will be releasing. And that book is about leadership, but and this is and for me, it's the best book I've written. Um, and the forward is done by um, my, my two older children, my 23 and my 26 year old, their mother is uh, has a master's in leadership and communication. And she did the forward in the book. Uh, but the ebook is about leadership, whether you're a single mom raising three kids at home because you're leading your household all the way to having a nine to five in a leadership position or running a business. So that's why it's called Leadership Matters in Life and Business because I touch every aspect of leadership. So it doesn't matter what, what you're doing. So you can not own a business and still uh, take part in having um, that book uh, there for yourself. So make sense? All right, so just a couple of testimonials here, guys. I tried to use some people uh, that wasn't gonna be on here so that I wouldn't embarrass anybody. So I found some of my clients that I knew uh, weren't coming on. So uh, Rachel Santana, she's a real, she's a realtor. And she says, thank you, Mrs. Amar, for uh, not only showing me a way to develop my own qualified leads, but for putting me on to Kajabi, which has allowed me to create training courses for other realtors and first time home buyers. So what I did with this young lady is not only did I help her create leads for her real estate business, but I also put her with Kajabi and I showed her how to set up there because she was a trainer. She was a teacher. She knew how to uh, work with uh, agents to make them better and things like that. So she started putting together training courses and modules and um, selling them through Kajabi. So now that's another set of income for her, for her outside of her just being a realtor. She's now training on the industry that she's been successful in. So uh, that's her testimony. So we got Nick Horn, a network marketer out of Colorado. Um, he's a young guy. He's about 36 years old. So after eight years of buying bad leads, it was a change of pace to talk to prospects that have previously downloaded lead magnets to, to my that my social media manager posted on my behalf if nothing else i'm better at closing with good leads after spending eight years with bad leads so i know some of you guys can attest to that so if you can put yes or yes i know your 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 uh your skill has been sharpened when it comes to closing now uh from buying all those horrible leads and talking to those bad people trying to convert them over uh so oxana uh, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce Oksana's last name, but the interesting story with her is I met Oksana because she used to be a safety manager for a trucking company that um, I have a group with. And she ended up leaving the trucking company and her, her husband started an insurance company. So she called me and she was like, hey, look, man, my husband started an insurance company. So I want to call you and ask you some things about some, some stuff we could be doing. And I ended up talking to her about the lead thing and getting her into that. So she did this testimonial for me. Uh, Robert Dunbar, my good friend, thank you so much for making time for me and, um, and for cutting uh, my lead costs. Uh, we traditionally pay $25 to $35 a lead in the insurance world. So to be paying less than a dollar per qualified lead for our insurance business is a blessing. If you are buying leads, we suggest you give uh, Robert a call. And again, guys, nobody's buying any leads from me. They're not. All I'm doing is setting them up on the system uh, so that they can learn.